guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. What is that little noise I'm hearing? Oh, it's baby quail. It's little baby doobies. We have fresh quail hatching today. Actually, it started yesterday. Yesterday was day 18. And we are so excited about having new quail again on the farm. These are ours. These are all homegrown babies, all home incubated babies. I'm telling you the Magic Fly Incubator, what you're seeing in some of the preview and after shots and whatnot, showing the babies hatching. Guys, I've been using these incubators for three years now, going on four years. I've used them for, I don't know how many chickens, but definitely quail and even duck eggs. We have had great success. Now, I will tell you, I'm looking to have about a 60 to 70 percent hatch rate with these babies right here and I'm going to show them to you I'm going to show you my quick setup quail are a little bit more sensitive so let's talk about it all right guys going to show you my quick setup here this is my brooder for the quail they're underneath the heat source here of course we have the Brinzi been using these for years folks you know they're the best don't risk the fire but I have a tub. This is either a 22 or a 30 gallon. Don't quote me either way, and I'm not going to switch it, you know, flip it around to find out exactly. But it's much bigger than an 18 gallon tub. I think this is a 30, okay? Don't quote me, but I think we're looking at a 30 gallon. I like these. I like them because the size is right when things are small and they're clear and I can see what's going on better, okay? So did you see what was going on down here? Let me tell you, quail are tricky to incubate and hatch because they're so little. And then you've got the situation of having to keep them warm. Well, here's what I'm doing this time. I decided to take one of my seed mats. You know when you're germinating seeds in the early spring or late winter and you have one of these bad boys? We've got several of them. We love them. And I decided, since I'm doing the quail right now and it's getting cold outside, this is right underneath here. Just a very light, even heat to keep the base of underneath where these babies are. I know you want to see them. To keep them warm so above and below they have a heat source look can you believe how little they are now again you want to make sure that you have a safe environment for them a warm environment a dry environment you also want to have the appropriate food to start them on right here i don't have it in a tray i don't have it in a little feeder i don't have it even in a plate yet because they are so little they get caught up in just about anything so you want to give them some time to grow a little bit, and then you can do this differently if you choose, okay? Because, I mean, clearly, but just like anything else, they're going to knock their food around. I also notice the base of the water here, okay? Just plastic water. You can put a little apple cider vinegar in there with them, okay? But in, in the water, okay? But notice the base. Look how small that is. If you get a large base, which you normally give baby chicks, which, you know, guys, you really should put marbles or something in any way, you're going to lose your quail easily drown they are so little even if they don't drown if they get in here and they get too wet and they get chilled minutes you're talking death you'll miss it they'll be gone okay so my deal is to really keep an eye on them and to keep them warm look they came back god love it okay babies let's put you back over here this is where the heater is going to be watch them they just want to be warm. <laughs> gerbils look look at here okay so this is the basic quail setup I will have a top where are you going baby let's put you back under I will get them warm right underneath here this is where the heaters are gonna be now in this room I have light obviously it's my bathroom I can shut the door I can keep the dogs out I can keep the cats out I can keep the kids out this room I can moderate the heat you know really watch it keep it warmer or cooler or whatever I need to do in here I can do because it's a separate little room this is a great spot to have a brooder for baby chicks and especially quail or little ducklings because it's easy to clean, easy to maintenance. Um, you can keep up with it easier if it's a room you use a lot and you can shut the door. All right, guys, Brinzy, you've got your feeder, you've got your water, we've got heat sources. We're going to put the clear mesh lid right on top and we're going to keep up with our quail. We appreciate you watching. I know you're just looking at the, I'm sorry, guys, you're just looking at the, just looking at the heater, but we appreciate you watching. Let's see these babies some more. We'll see you in the next video. 
All right, guys, just a quick final note. Here is what I use for the top of my brooders. We've talked about this before. I love using the baby gates. You can buy them at Walmart, 10 to $20, very easy to find. Sometimes you can even get them at a garage sale or maybe you have one in your storage or your sister has one. These work for as great tops for these size brooders. You're gonna like having that instead of wire, I guarantee it. So check it out. Thanks for watching.